The Justice Department is backtracking its sentencing request for Roger Stone, the president's former informal advisor and longtime friend and confidant. This is according to a senior DOJ official. Initially, prosecutors, who, by the way, are employed by the Justice Department, asked a federal judge to give Stone seven to nine years in prison for charges that include lying under oath, obstruction of a congressional investigation, threatening a witness with bodily harm, and repeatedly disregarding the orders of the judge overseeing the case. Now, a senior DOJ uh, official says the recommendation is extreme and excessive. And this is coming on the heels of a tweet from President Trump condemning the sentencing recommendation. This is horrible, it says, and very unfair situation. The real crimes were on the other side as nothing happens to them. Cannot allow this miscarriage of justice. It's extremely unusual. I think it's going to be really hard for people to believe the view from the Justice Department that, oh, we made this decision last night and it has nothing to do with anything the White House might want or the president's tweets. We've also heard from one of Roger Stone's attorneys, you know, they asked that he receive no jail time and probation in their memo and they said they've read with interest the developments on this case and essentially they look forward to appearing before the judge. But, you know, part of the reason I think this is so unusual is, as Evan pointed out, it's up to the judge to decide how much time Roger Stone spends behind bars, if any. So by doing this, by having the D.C. U.S. Attorney's Office put in their sentencing guidelines and then have Maine Justice say, no, no, we think they're, those are excessive, you've created this whole atmosphere where it looks like President Trump's Attorney General, Bill Barr, is going out of his way to help President Trump's longtime political advisor, 